good Tuesday morning. He's whooped. Look at all the hair. I couldn't take it anymore. So I brought the shaver razor over and gave myself the summer do. Oh, this freaking 90 degrees and humid shit. Nope. Can't deal with it. I don't know if you can hear, but we are getting rain. Yay. We got about a quarter of an inch yesterday. Whee. I think there was a quarter of an inch in the rain gauge before this just started coming. So, oh, and I'm not going to walk out in the rain. I will zoom in. But Nelson, you've made me think of it because I never filmed it because it was a miserable pissy day. But uh, I will walk out in the rain. Screw it. Brand new 20 gallon per minute pump. Ooh, getting wet on my 110 gallon. Now you're all wet. Hang with me. There we go. On my 110 gallon truck tank because I don't know when it was. Two, three weeks ago during planting. Hotter than just hotter than the devil's ass. I mean, it was brutal. I filled it right to the top. Headed to the field to fill the tractors, two of them, you know. Yeah. Didn't work. Pump took a shit. Came back here, messed with it, messed with it, messed with the electrical. No. So it lays over there in the scrap pile. Piece of shit. And of course it was on a Thursday. And you know, tractor supply, nobody has anything, you know. COVID. COVID, which by the way is, you know, we've been 10 days straight in the shithole state of New York with less than 1,000 positive tests. Positive tests. Remember that. That's not sickness. That's a positive test. Less than 1,000 out of 19.5 million people. Yeah, but let's lock her down. Fucking blue states. Anyways, Amazon. I hate them. I hate giving Bezos money. The Barb got on Amazon. We had one by Saturday. Yeah, took a shit on a Thursday. It was here on Saturday. So Scotty and I put it in that night. Of course, it was 500 bucks too. You know, great. But. So anyways, after this gets done and it dries up some, which, you know, a couple days probably, we'll go back to spraying corn. I think I've got... I haven't got shit for videos on spraying so far, but... Oh, I got less than 150 acres to spray. And I've put... I don't know, 75, 80 acres worth of anhydrous on, so, which you've seen. So spray, then anhydrous, then spray soybeans. Which, by the way, I don't know if zooming in will show you good. Oh, I guess it's already zoomed in. See, you've been looking at me close up. Those soybeans, you can roll them pretty good. So get done with corn, start spraying soybeans. What do you think, supervisor? You don't really care, do you? You just say it's too damn hot and muggy. Well, it stopped raining. I don't know what we got because the rain gauge is over there on the Denison Farm sign. I'll have to look. But I'm closing up the shop and going to the house. I'm taking the rest of the day off, seeing as we can't do anything. The mail just came, so I'll go get my parents' mail. Oh, and the, the fuel tank, when I was talking about that, yeah. Well, I forgot to say, when you fill your fuel tank right to the tippy, tippy top, and it's like really sunny, hot, 90-some degrees weather, yeah, you end up with a little bit of a mess in the back of your truck as it expands and tends to bubble out of the, the fill spout. So that's why I needed to get a new pump as quick as I could. But like I said, I'm not happy with giving Bezos money. I'm not happy with any of these rich assholes especially the ones that run social media but needed a pump good wednesday morning yeah yeah it is wednesday filling that nurse tank because that one's empty one down over the hill in the driveways got one uh applicator taken out of it so i'm not going to pull that up and fill it because it's still got another one he's flat out like usual we had four tenths of an inch of rain yesterday, Tuesday. 
to go along with the quarter of an inch we got basically Monday, Monday night. So we've had a little over six tenths of an inch of rain. We needed it. Uh, I don't know if I can be back on tomorrow spraying or doing anhydrous. I'll find out. See how sunny it gets today and if we don't get any, still a chance of thunderstorms on these hot and humid days. But definitely Friday because the next rain chance they really show is Sunday. But check it out. Mad Moose got the new hats in. So for all of you that ordered hats, there was a bunch of them there sitting on the counter to be shipped out. So you'll probably have them by the time you see this video. But so until I get back in the fields, not a whole lot to show you. All right, back at it, spraying. It's a Thursday morning. After that six tenths of an inch of rain, Monday and Tuesday, or no? Yeah, Monday and Tuesday. Yesterday was good hot. This is that field that had that little island out there with the massive rock. If you go back to last year's videos, yeah, they took the D8 to get rid of it. There it is. I think there was a picture of me standing in front of it. That thing is enormous. But, I don't know, I think I'm going to try and put the magnet out on a boom or something. I don't know. Something exciting for you. Because it's kind of hard to hold the camera on. Make sure I stay between the rows. I'm not running corn over because this corn looks pretty good here. This is my only corn after corn, but it looks pretty good. Everything else is corn after beans. I needed to do this farm corn after corn so I could try and get my rotation back to close to 50-50. I think I've got, oh, maybe 30 acres more beans this year than corn, but luckily so far they're both worth something.
just finished spraying that tank full. I don't know if you can tell by the flag, but she's getting a little windy. So I got only got about one and a half tank fulls left. So I'm gonna wait till morning and see what that brings. I just fired up 7230. I'm gonna go do some anhydrous instead. A little update on the 8235, and then I'll probably end this video. So, if you went back to last fall, you'll see that, you know, we were just basically chasing bullshit. Change this wiring harness that went to the exhaust filter that's in there. Because, well, they had heard that worked on a tractor before. Yeah, well, that was a thousand dollars. Wasn't our problem. I got my thousand dollars back and argued with deer and they took it back. Changed the $700 fuel dosing unit and then as you've seen in videos this spring i've still had issues with this pile of shit so i switched dealerships really don't care if the other dealership sees this I'm wiping you off you're dirty <laughs> because i got tired of paying thousands of dollars to you know chase issues the mechanic for the other dealership came out and I mean he tested every wire and just he, he was very thorough and basically as you can see by that nice shiny new silver ECU that was $2,500 that's what we wound up having to change because the code let me shut this hood ugh, the code that kept coming up was saying that you know the fuel dosing unit which is brand new wasn't pumping the fuel into the filter there to regenerate into the exhaust filter but he ran all the tests with his computer put the new ecu unit on and it hit everything perfect at every temperature when he did the forced regen you know when it got to the temperature it was supposed to it regenerated I fully threw it when it got to the temperature it was supposed to stop it did he looked back through the computer to see what it had been doing and it wasn't reaching full temperatures and all that horse shit that i know nothing about anyhow and that's where he decided it needed the ecu only problem is this tractor really won't get much use if any until next spring but he felt pretty confident that running through everything the way he did that that was our problem so that's what we're going with all right got a little spraying a little anhydrous a little bullshit like that a little bit of everything for you in this video so i guess we'll call it check out the grumpy farmer apparel and we will see you in the next one. Oh, go to the link in the description that's how you check it out and if you ever want anything done, you can get a hold of Mad Moose and they'll do stuff for you. Patch of Heaven Farms had him made, make him stickers. They were pretty cool, which I've already showed you in a previous video. It's now on the beer fridge here in the, in the shop. Alright, see you in the next one.